Let's get right into it. Antonio Brown storms off the field shirtless during yesterday's game against the Jets. The Buccaneers came back to win. Tom Brady throws a game-winning touchdown pass to someone named Grayson. I don't know, was it Curtis is the first name? Something like that. But anyway, uh, here is Tom Brady yesterday, and then Bruce Arians today, Antonio Brown now off the team. Obviously a, a difficult situation, and um, you know I think we all want – you know, him to, you know, just think everybody should find, you know, hopefully do what they can to help him in ways that, you know, he really needs it. You've been someone that's expressed genuine care and concern for Antonio. How tough was it for you to see what happened yesterday and to make that call? Yeah, it was very hard. And I, 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 I wish him well. I hope if he needs help, get some. And uh, it's very hard because I do care about him. All right, Rob. Uh do we, I was going to ask you, do you think he's played his last game in an NFL, but you seem to have your own angle? Go for no, it. No, like, for Rocky, like Rocky said to Clubber Lang, go no, for it. No, well, well, I don't believe he'll, he'll play again. I, I don't. I don't think this is something you can come back from. When you quit on a team during a game, I, I damn another coach to take that guy and bring him into your – locker room and act like everything's going to be okay it, I've told you this a million times you can't marry an alcoholic and then you're surprised when on the way home they ask you to stop at a liquor store uh, Antonio Brown has told you who he's been for the last four or five years this is who he is nobody should be shocked he's always been about himself and he doesn't care he didn't care about the chef that he owed money to. He didn't care that Bruce Arians is a cancer survivor and he f had a fake vaccination card. He didn't care about the furniture he threw off the balcony that could have hit people. He doesn't care. He didn't care when he had uh, Facebook Live going on in the locker room when guys are butt naked and, and, a, and a meeting with the team is going on. He didn't care. And all they cared about, Tampa Bay, Tom Brady cared about himself, and Bruce Arians cared about himself, and that's why they're in the situation that they're in. That's why when they let him on the team, Chris, Bruce Arians said to the world, one screw up and he's gone. Why? Because of his track record. And Bruce Arians backed down from his own word. He did it. He allowed Antonio Brown to do what he did to his franchise, to his team, to that organization, to the fan base. What an embarrassment. Chris, how many guys have you ever seen walk out during a game in all the years you've covered sports? I've been covering sports for 36 years. I don't remember that. They might have quit after the game. But quit on the field during a game? This is who he is. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers deserve all of this. They gave him a chance. And Chris, I'm not against second chances. He got a second chance. He got a third chance. And when they brought him into Tampa Bay, after he deceived everybody, put people at risk, they said, oh, well, we need a receiver. We don't care. It's okay. We'll bring him back. I don't want to hear no, no tears now. And oh, what a shame. You knew what you got in bed with. Now wash the fleas off. It's on the Tampa Bay Bucks, And I don't believe, Chris, A.B. will play again in the National Football League. All right. Uh, first, let me say it's not Curtis Grayson. It was Cyril. Cyril Grayson, the receiver that replaced A.B. and caught the game-winning touchdown pass on Sunday. All right, um, a lot of what you said I agree with, Rob. Um, Antonio Brown is a knucklehead, pure and simple. Um, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, well, let me address, before I talk about whether or not I think he'll ever play in the league again, let me address your, you know, your celebration uh, before we introduce the I Couple crew, uh, you told well, me did so. The crew. No, but you told me so. Like, like, okay, you told I, me that you would have cut Antonio Brown. Like, the league said he could play after the three game suspension. He played one game, had 10 receptions, 101 yards. You said they never should have brought him back. Okay, fine. What, what, 
I, is Tampa Bay like, what's the problem right now? There, There's no mud on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers face. Yes, okay, it was in, Chris. Hold on, let me finish. It was an embarrassing situation. So what? They're, I mean, they, they're, they're where they were had they cut him two weeks ago. They, they are now short on receivers. They got unproven guys that are going to have to fill in for him, and that was going to be the case anyway. He's gone. It's not like he's still on the team wreaking havoc. So what, what's the big deal? I mean, you had a setback. It's over with. You saw, you saw how much it affected him. They came back right away and won. And I'm not saying they're, you know, we'll see how, you know, the league, the season plays out. But that this is irrelevant to how the season is going to play out. Antonio Brown would have helped, sure. It hurts them losing him, I believe, as, as far as on the football field. But my point is, had they just cut him two weeks ago, what's the difference? Not like they were going, they, they had an opportunity to go out there and get a great receiver to replace him. Cut him two weeks ago. Or, or have what happened yesterday. So what? Were the San Antonio Spurs laughing stocks when Dennis Rodman took off his shoes and during a game and sat on the bench? No. He the one looked like an idiot. And Antonio Brown is the one that looks like a fool. Nobody else. I mean, sir, Bruce, this ain't on Bruce Arians. This ain't on Tom Brady. We'll get into all that. Antonio Brown is the idiot. They gave him a chance, and he blew it. Simple no, as that. No, they did not. No, they did they not. Didn't they didn't give chance? him a chance, Chris. They were enablers. They were enablers because it wasn't it, a so chance. So enablers to what? They were enablers. Hold on. Who is Be- who? No, let you just on, have Rob, your chance. Let me, let, me you. let me answer you. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. You just made your what? point. Enablers well, no, you, because. You jumped in, actually. Because, you Bruce, off, because Bruce Arians was the one who said one slip up, and he's done. He went back on his word. That's the point, Chris. But he said Is that, that Bruce he Arians said that believed? last year no, he no. thought he was a better citizen. He, That's what he said. You wouldn't have said that. Things you wouldn't have had changed. to say that. You wouldn't have what, had what do you to mean say you wouldn't that. have had to say that? Why? Because if you were giving a guy a chance, let's see, and the guy will prove me wrong. I don't have to say one strike and you're out. Why? Because so he had if, eight if, strikes if coming right, in. If you're right, so what? So what? I mean, that's the thing. You're an enabler. There's one person, Rob, who was hurt yesterday. Antonio Brown. No. Period. No, Nobody no. else is hurt. He, no, the He's organization an idiot. He's a laughing stock. He's a the, knucklehead. No, the, Nobody the, the, the else Tampa is hurt. The Bay Bucks, they're the same team that allowed a guy who deceived them. You remember when they came out with that press release? Oh, no. We checked, Antonio. Everything is fine. You guys don't know what you're talking about. Let's push this story back. They came out in an hour, and they backed Antonio Brown and told the story, the people who reported okay. the story that they didn't know what they were talking about. The okay. Tampa Bay Bucks were hook, line, and sinker. And they're the okay. ones who got pulled in by Antonio Brown and Tom Brady's uh, all he wants to do is win by yeah, hook right. or by That's crook. All he wants to do is and win. That sometimes, Chris, you got to have respect for yourself and you have to have some damn standards and morals. And How say, is this I'd hurting rather Tom win. Brady? I'd so rather have win respect for with his somebody well, who's get a all good the, person. Get all, the, get all the guys that have beaten women. Get all the guys that have you know, pull guns and carry guns without a license. Get all the guys that have done all types of heinous crimes out of the league, if that's the case. If that's the case. Antonio Brown is the fool. Tom Brady, Bruce Aarons, Mike Evans, the rest of the players, they're going to move on. They've already moved on. That's it. That's my point, like, Enabled it. He he didn't hurt. If he had hurt other people, then you would have an. Uh, uh, it wouldn't be an argument. You'd be right. If he had hurt some other Chris, human you're, beings, you're being, you're let being me naive. No, Come I'm on, not man. being naive. I told I'm, you. I'm give, I told you why they shouldn't bring him back because he was going to hurt them because they How gave him an opening. Him? Did they he gave, hurt him? He, yeah, because now now How? they got to go look for another receiver when they should have been, been looking for a receiver ago. already after he did that. And that would have been the case two weeks them. ago. Shame on them. They should have cut ties with him, and they know it. And here's here's what I say about him playing in the league again. I think it's highly unlikely, obviously. 
I think there's one, one route that might enable him to play in the league again. That is if he undergoes serious major therapy. Obviously, he's lost. Obviously, it was a nervous breakdown on the field. That's what this looked like. And he needs serious help. I'm not talking about the help that he reportedly got two years ago where it was unclear, a bit ambiguous. Is he getting help? Yeah, we think he's in therapy. You know, he said he was. I'm not talking about the help Ben Simmons is supposedly getting down in Philadelphia, right? I'm talking about real, serious, long-term mental health uh, care for this guy. And then if he, like, he has to come back and show con- be, that he's contrite, that he's repentant, and that he understands why he acted the way he did in Pittsburgh, the, in, in with the Raiders, with the Patriots, and with the Buccaneers. And it has to be sincere. Like, I'm almost talking, Rob, really like an AA type. You ever met somebody that went through AA or is maybe still in AA? You know, they, they acknowledge, yo, what they did, why they did it, how they were hurting, what the void was in their life, whatever it was. That's what he needs to do. And if he doesn't do it, I don't think he even gets a shot. If he does do it, he still may not get a shot. But if he does it, I think that potentially could lead somebody to take a chance on him, not next year, but maybe the beginning of 2023-24, the problem there, he'll be 35 years old, so maybe nobody will think it's worth it. But that's the only possible chance I think he has of getting back into the NFL. But I agree with you, it's highly unlikely. All right, 877-99 on Fox, 877-996-6369. Your turn to weigh in on Antonio Brown. Will he ever play in the NFL again? And then you can talk about Rob and I, my disagreement with him. I, I say, look, good riddance. He's gone. Tampa Bay's none, you know, none the worse. He's gone. Okay, we move on. Rob says it, it hurt the franchise and I guess some other people.